Have you ever wondered who those good looking fellows in the short shorts are? Do you know what kind of ball this is? Well, this is a rugby ball. Those were Thunder Chickens, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the sport of rugby. Rugby is one of the world's leading sports. It was one of the first Olympic sports and a precursor to American football. It is immensely popular in places such as New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. Our own Principia Thunder Chickens Rugby Football Club was started in 1978 by South African student Ward Patterson. Today we have a few Thunder Chickens who are going to help break down the game for us. Let's begin. First, we'll start with the field. A professional rugby field is 144 meters by 70 meters, or about 155 yards by 75 yards, much wider than a football or soccer field. But it's similar to a football field because rugby also makes use of uprights. There are 15 players on each team, and you are allowed six substitutes per game. The objective is to touch the ball down in the other team's try zone to score a try. One try gets you five points. Like football, you have a chance to score a conversion after each try, which can award you another two points. During play, teams may also attempt a drop goal, which gives you three points. Rugby's not rocket science. There are just a few rules you need to know. The first rule is that you cannot pass forwards. You can only pass backwards. If you, trying to catch a pass, accidentally knock the ball forwards, that is a knock-on, which is a penalty. While you can only pass backwards, you can kick forwards at any time. Finally, rugby is a tackling sport, but high tackles are not allowed. Although there are 15 players on the field, there are only two basic positions, forwards and backs. Forwards are your bigger players, who mainly serve as bangers, carrying the ball into the thick of things. Backs are your smaller and quicker players. They line up in a steep line, ready to carry, pass, or kick the ball. Here's some more vocabulary you need to know. The ruck, scrum, line out, and maul. Rucks. Rucks form when the ball carrier is tackled. Players from both teams quickly engage each other, fighting to determine ball possession and continue the flow of the game. Scrums. Scrums occur after penalties. They consist of eight forwards from each team. As both sides engage each other, the ball is rolled in from the side and kicked out the back, putting the ball back in play and continuing the game. Lineouts. Lineouts occur when the ball goes out of bounds and consists of jumpers and lifters. Teams call out plays to communicate where they will throw the ball in and then the game continues. Malls. Malls form when the ball carrier is unable to be tackled to the ground. Team members join in and contribute by pushing the mall forward. So what have we learned today? Number one, rugby is the best sport in the world. But also that there are 15 players on the field and the objective is to score tries. Remember the basic rules. Pass backwards, kick forwards, and tackle hard. Also the two basic positions. You have your big forwards and your small backs who work together to win the ball. Rucks, scrums, lineouts, and malls all are unique parts of rugby that keep the ball moving. One final note rugby is a game of possession, not yardage. It often looks messy and confusing, but truly is a wonderful sport. Well, there you are. We hope that you better understand the sport of rugby now. And remember, come out and support your Principia Thunder Chickens.